everybody what's going on it's Tanil. i'm sorry that i haven't made a video in a while but i've been extremely busy these last couple of weeks i've been hunting pokemon no joke okay it's kind of a joke that's not the real reason i mean i have been busy but i really have been hunting pokemon so who else is into this whole pokemon go thing like i'm so freaking obsessed with it it is ridiculous so i have a video it was uh, captured in Central Park. There was like a rare Pokemon spotting and there was like a stampede and people were like losing their minds and they were going crazy and all of this stuff. So there's been some crazy stuff happening with people and the whole Pokemon Go. Like people are falling off cliffs, they're getting in car accidents. So guys, if you are Pokemoning, is that what it's called? Like seriously, be careful. Anyway, so let's check this video out. And because this video is so short, I also have another video that we're going to watch, which which is the top 10 rarest Pokemon. Oh my God, am I a freaking nerd or what? Let's check it out. Holy cow, that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. There's a Vaporeon that spawned right there, so everyone's running. What is it? <laughs> Oh my god. That's funny. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh my god. Everyone's just well like I've seen groups of people like in the area where we live and people are like going crazy piling on top of each other trying to find Pokemon like I have a picture of the super long line of people that were out Pokemon and walking down the street I mean it's freaking crazy but yeah this is probably the biggest and craziest uh, one that I've seen yet it's insane um, if you guys have any videos or any photos of like huge crazy crowds that you've been involved in while you're out capturing pokemon please share it with us i'd love to hear about it so anyway so that happened in central park so let's watch the video of the top 10 rare pokemons that we can catch we're taking a look at the top 10 rarest pokemon in pokemon go i don't know if you guys want to see more pokemon go videos so on pokemon our channel but if pokemon? we can get 5,000 likes on this video it'll let me know you guys want to see more videos like this in the future with that said let's get right into it number 10 gallardos so if you don't Guy know what Gyarados is, essentially he's the evolved version of Magikarp, but what makes him so rare and hard to get is the fact that you need 400 Magikarp candy just oh. to evolve him. Of course you could likely find him evolved, but still, you're gonna have to be a really high level to do that, and as of me being level 15 right now, I have yet to find him. Now you gotta keep in mind that Pokemon vary for all parts of the world, so although you might have hundreds of Gyarados where you live, the majority of people likely rarely see it. Everyone has to have Magikarp, so the simple fact that you need 400 Magikarp candies and that he's really hard to find in general is why he's coming in at our number 10 spot. Nope, I don't have him. Number 9, Aerodactyl. Don't have that one either. A very odd Pokemon as it's actually a fossil type, Aerodactyl was first seen in the original trailer and has rarely been caught in Pokemon Go so okay. far. Once again, talking about Gyarados, we said that in some areas of the world, there may be lots of a type of Pokemon, while in the others, you may never see it. And that's exactly what happens in this case. According to the Pokemon Go Wiki, you can't evolve it, which is surprising because in the actual Pokemon, you could turn it into like a Mega Aerodactyl, which is like a better version of it or something like that. But unfortunately, you can't. These are mine. Can Number eight, this? Snorlax. Like so although freezing. I don't believe that you can catch a Munchlax on Pokemon Go, you could surely catch the like big 65. sleeping beast we know as Snorlax. Oh, I remember this one. I've personally one. never seen one before, but I've heard that the majority of them that you catch actually have an extremely high CP. This one seems to be one of the more common rare Pokemon that I've people have been catching, but it's still super cool rare to find one. Let me know in the comments below if you've caught one, and if you have, tell me what CP it has. Number seven. Dragonite. I don't have any of these. With this Pokemon, it's either very rare or an uncommon appearance, depending on where you live. I want to say that the same goes for Dratini or Dragonair, as those are just the less evolved versions of Dragonite, so consider them on the same spot on our list. 
Dragonite is, well, he's obviously a dragon type Pokemon, but it's super rare to catch a fully evolved one. I myself have actually only gotten lucky enough to catch a Dragonair, but it only has 400 CP, so I might just have to transfer it for Jatini Candy and hopefully I can catch a Dragonite. Number six, Articuno. Oh, wow. Either, so the next six on our list, like you actually realist. can't catch them in the game so far. Before you start flaming me in the comments, let me explain why you can't catch them yet and how you will be able to catch okay. them later on. These are the rarest of the rare in Pokemon Go and are the last few you can see in your Pokedex. Articuno is actually the mascot for Team Mystic or the blue team and is known as the Freezer mm. in Japan. It is one of the three legendary birds of Kanto, so obviously the other two are the other teams. Apparently the legendary birds and the rest of this list will be available to catch later on in the game at special events So maybe they might have like a convention <laughs> or something like so that crazy. and it's limited to spawn in that area That's just a theory, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below Number five Zapdos Once again another legendary I've, bird of I've Kanto except Zapdos is the mascot these. for team instinct or the yellow team Just like Articuno it can't evolve into anything and will likely only be available at these special events so according to an article that I read earlier, you might be able to find these legendary birds when you finish your entire Pokedex and can see them. But as of right now, I'm not totally sure and that's okay. just a theory. I'm sure number one is like Mewtwo. Number four, Moltres. The third and final legendary bird of Kanto is Moltres and he's the mascot for Team Valor team or the Valor. red team. Now I'm not saying Team Valor is the best team since I'm on Team Valor, but <laughs> yeah. Moltres I'm on is team the Valor. fire bird, and hopefully one day we'll all be given the chance to catch these legendary birds, because it really leaves the question, will Lugia ever appear in Pokemon Go? Number 3, Ditto. Ditto. I don't think anyone actually knew that Ditto is in Pokemon Go, but he actually is. If you don't know who Ditto is, essentially he's like a purple blob that can literally transform into any Pokemon. I don't know if they'll ever add breeding into Pokemon Go, but if they do, Ditto can literally breed with any Pokemon, and since it doesn't have a gender, it makes it super rare and helpful. Now, if you've ever been to a friend's house, right, where like their parents are fighting, essentially its face when it transforms into another Pokemon essentially looks exactly like your face in that exact <laughs> situation. Honestly, it looks super weird but funny, and it'd be great to be able to catch it in Pokemon Go. Number two. Oh, Mewtwo is number two, so what is number one? A science he was my experiment favorite. that branched off of Mew, Mewtwo can actually be seen Pokemon in the trailer, but kids. you won't find him in Pokemon Go oh, just yet. Even in it. I'm quite positive that the only form of Mewtwo that we're going to be seeing in Pokemon Go is just the normal version, so that means that Mega Mewtwo X and Y definitely won't be coming in the game. Mewtwo is a part of the legendary duo between him and Mew, and they're pretty much the rarest and best Pokemon that we'll ever see. I so want to catch Mewtwo. Number one, Mew. Mew. So this was pretty one. obvious as Mew is the most powerful Pokemon in the Kanto Pokedex. There's really not much to say that we haven't said already as just like the majority of this list it isn't in the game yet. It'll probably be at special events, it's a pretty badass Pokemon, and it's the last Pokemon in the Pokedex and easily the rarest of them all and that's why he's coming oh, he's in at so our number cute. one spot. Okay. So that was it. Top 10 rarest Pokemon. Have you guys caught any of these very rare Pokemon? If you have, leave it in the comments section below and let us know which ones you have and where you found him. All right, so that's it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. But before I go, guys, I want to say thank you all so much for subscribing, sharing my channel, liking and commenting on the videos. We're at like over 3,500 subscribers. That is super exciting to me. Keep sharing, keep liking. And subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel for more videos. And if you have anything that you'd like for me to react to, please leave it in the comment section below, tweet it to me, or send it to me in an email, and I will add it to my list. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.